Hi! Today I have a chill, chatty kind of video for you all. I've been pinning some things on Pinterest for a while that have been inspiring me, clothes that I would like to have one day, sort of an aspirational mood board. I feel like I've been in a place of exploration for a couple of years with my style, and I feel like I'm now beginning that process of really fine-tuning what I want, knowing what's practical for me, noting the pieces that I'm wearing, noticing empty gaps in my closet. So I've been slowly kind of working my way through this process of shifting my style into a different direction. But instead of just going out there, you know, into the world and buying whatever I find, <laughs> I want to be methodical about it. I really want to visualize the pieces and things that I want. And all around, I'm just trying to plan out a little bit better moving into the future, avoiding impulse buying, and just continue working on developing my sense of self and personal style and uh, getting to know myself better overall. So one way you can do that, as I mentioned, is create a mood board. I titled mine Dream Closet. Anything that really sparks my joy, curiosity, you know, it got me really excited when I saw it, or I had thoughts like, oh, I would like to have something like that, or that would look cute with this piece that I have. Images and clothing items that conjured up those thoughts and feelings, I would pin to my dream closet board. So I've been kind of accumulating those pictures and things for a while, and I decided to create some pretty little visuals and mood boards for you all. I'm just going to continue to blab, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to walk you through some of those things that I've been pinning, pictures, images I've been saving, and just share a little bit about myself my personal style, what I hope to achieve with my future wardrobe, things I'm looking out for, pieces I hope to find at the thrift. We're just gonna have a chatty little, you know, talk session about it. So let's take a look at some of that. So I have some visuals on screen for all of you, but I'm just gonna browse the Pinterest board and talk about it. So to start off on kind of a boring note, something that I really want more of in my wardrobe <laughs> is really nice socks and underwear, those kinds of basics, undergarments, things that you wear, underclothes, garter belts, lingerie. I'm someone that has a very hard time spending money on myself in that department. I will usually spring for just, you know, the cheapest, most affordable thing, and then I will not update it for as long as, you know, I don't have to update it. But I want to change that a little bit. Having things like that can make you feel nice and better about yourself. <laughs> so I would like to start treating myself a little bit more when it comes to the sorts of intimates and things that I'm buying, but especially socks. I love socks. And Cheap socks are really poor quality most of the time. The times that I have been gifted nice socks, like more expensive pairs, they have held up so much better. All of the higher end socks I have don't have any holes or tears or anything like that. They don't get stretched out. The fit stays consistent with how you bought it originally. And so I've come to observe that it is definitely worth it to splurge a little bit on good basics and intimates. I also always love fun accessories, whether it is a really crazy purse or button pins and pins, funky pairs of shoes. I love things that are just quirky and playful and silly. I love things with lots of detail and thought behind them. I absolutely love sequins and beading. So lots of really pretty feminine dainty sorts of details. But I also love a bold graphic print. I love a fun quippy saying on a button or a t-shirt. So I would love to start collecting a lot more like attitude t-shirts, graphic t-shirts. I want to start experimenting with bolder prints, just having fun, having a sense of humor with my fashion, but I also would like a sense of practicality there. I'm not really attracted to pieces that are more just for the complete novelty of it. I like a healthy balance of novelty and practicality. And as always too, I've got my eyes open for baby doll tops and dresses, just a silhouette that I like on myself. It's one that I feel confident and comfortable in. I would also love to step my shoe game up a little bit, get in some more fancier, dressier shoes, definitely more boots. I did just get a fun pair that I really like, but I'm definitely still on the hunt for some witchier items. I love things that lace all the way up. I would love to have like a trusty pair of combat boots again. I'm so, so particular about them. I like them to be very slim and like fitting to the leg. And it's hard to find exactly what I'm looking for, but I won't give up. I'll keep my eyes open. <laughs> I would love to have a pair of like cool lace-up edgy boots. I also want to start experimenting with heels and platforms and wedges and stuff a bit more. I have a little bit, but I'm still kind of figuring out what shape I like to wear. It's comfortable for me to walk in. So I'm open to experimenting more with that. Yeah, I want to experiment more with the height of my shoes, 
shoes, the colors, the print, everything. It'd be nice to find some really cool coats as well. I've had the same winter coat for years and years and years. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll continue to wear it and use it. But I want to say it was last year I thrifted a coat that I wear and love. Anytime it's slightly cool out, I reach for it because it's so pretty. It's one of my favorite pieces in thrift finds. And so I know I'll make good use of coats as long as they're, you know, functional. But I really love that piece. I would love to find more things like that. And even winter accessories is something that I hope to find. You know, I love flower details. I love graphic prints, quirky, kitschy motif, plaid, stripes. Lately, I've been gravitating towards polka dots a lot. And I thought I had an issue with them. Like I didn't like them on me for some reason. But it clicked for me that I don't like the micro polka dot look on me. What I'm really attracted to is the larger polka dots that are really quite uh, clown and circus-like. But I think they're so fun. I've been seeing so many people style them in a way that just really speaks to me. And so I hope that I can find something that's, you know, relatively affordable that I can experiment with that print a little bit. I want to branch out and try more prints as I mentioned, so I'm open-minded as to what those prints are. I definitely want more collared blouses, particularly white ones. I get so much wear out of my white collared blouses. I would like to have some more in different silhouettes and shapes. They go with everything and especially if they're made of cotton, they are very very comfortable and so I would like to have more options like that in my closet. Loafers, boots, sneakers. I'm still really trying to figure out what kind of sweater shape I like on myself and what's comfortable for me to wear. I feel like I really struggle with finding the right fit of sweater. So it'd be nice to find some cool ones to try out, preferably ones in a fun color or print. I also really love mesh and sheer things. I've been enjoying experimenting with layering as I get more into fashion and explore my style more. And I think they're just a really good, useful piece to have. So I hope to find like more interesting layering options. I definitely want more sweaters and cardigans too. I also hope to find maybe some pairs of jeans. I really want them to fit me in a loose cool girl baggy style kind of way, uh, but I'm 5'2", so I don't really know if that's an option for me. <laughs> Generally, if I size up, the pants are just like too big. It just doesn't work. Keeping the faith that one day I will stumble upon a pair of jeans that fits me in the way that I want so desperately to fit me. <laughs> I want my closet to have a really nice flow to it. I want to be able to mix and match things. I already feel like I'm in a good place with that. I do think I've gotten a lot better when it comes to mindfulness around purchases, what I like, what I'll actually wear. Again, it's not like I need to do a complete closet overhaul, but I would like to begin allowing myself to shop more and be open to finding pieces, you know, that really, really speak to me, that I really love and I'm excited to wear. 99% of the time when I shop, it's going to be secondhand or thrifted. So obviously I hope to find lots of fun vintage, 90s, Y2K pieces. I do think I want to experiment purchasing from smaller brands, indie designers, that sort of thing. But I'm excited to just keep exploring and seeing what I like and having fun, not putting limits on myself. Here's to hoping that I will find a lot of the items that are on my wish list. Gotta get out there and start thrifting now. But that about does it. It's a chill little video for today. I would love to hear some of your dream closet items, your wish list, things you hope to find or make for yourself. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!